We're here with Royals head coach, Eric Fole, and in just the Royals' second season, you have taken them to an NAIA World Series berth after clinching the Lima Bracket Championship here in a dramatic fashion, as always, Coach Full, with a 12-11 win over the Middle Georgia State Knights. Uh, Coach, they made it interesting. Four two-run shots here after you guys took an early lead, and your program from the dugout continues to say, so what? and moves on, and they will move on once again now to Lewiston. Uh, Coach, if you could just describe what you're feeling now, and then we'll get to the rest of the questions later. I'm so proud of these guys, and I, I couldn't be happier for every single one of them. They've given us everything we've ever asked for. Uh, they've given us memories, they've given us opportunities, and I'm so proud and happy for these guys to have this opportunity. That uh, means the world to me. You put uh, a freshman on the mound, and he, he lasted five solid innings for you guys. Uh, the, the middle relievers maybe not quite as effective as you were hoping for today, but Justin Moulds, uh, now the winningest pitcher in Royals history, once again taking back that torch from Dominic Potlongo, uh, comes in and shuts the door for you just by giving up that late two-run shot. They would not pitch to Cameron Baranek. You guys could not get a ball out of the yard today, and it did not matter. You come up with 12 runs no matter what. Um, Coach, what was working for you guys today against a team that you already faced to open your time here at Lima? You know, our, our hitters did such a great job of controlling the strike zone and, and getting good pitches to hit and just putting good swings on them. You know, we, the wind blowing out, we knew they were going to hit some home runs. Uh, that didn't bother us. We knew, we, we knew that that was going to happen coming into this. And uh, our hitters just did a great job. Molds coming in and shut the door was just phenomenal. But uh, Dumps have been good for us all year. He, the bigger the game, the better he is. That's just how he's playing. Uh, it's kind of one of those gut feelings. You know, we weren't quite sure who we were going to start until right before the game. But, um, you know, he's been great all year, and you know, we're happy to get him out there. Uh, Coach, I know there's there's uncharted territory ahead. Uh, obviously, I can't ask you what, what you're expecting, but um, what, what are you hoping for out of your team as you make that trip up to Lewiston for the first time in program history? You know, I hope we can enjoy the opportunity to continue to play baseball together. You know, the teams never last uh, more than a season. It changes every year, and so, uh, you know, for these guys to continue the season and, and be able to continue moving forward is, is awesome. Uh, and, you know, our expectations are to go up and compete and play, play good baseball, you know. Uh, we figure if we can play good baseball, we can get a chance to go out and win some ball games. And so we just want to go out and execute quality baseball games, and uh, we couldn't be happier to have this opportunity. Well, Coach, one more question as you mentioned uh, the team turns over every year um, each milestone this year we've had a chance to talk to the seniors coach this is the the second senior class the largest one so far for the program what does it mean for you for these guys just you've put so much work in together uh, they were your first junior class and they've put in a ton of heart and sweat and blood and tears and time in the classroom as well but what does all of that mean for you to be able to now pay that off with a trip to Lewiston it's the most special thing that's ever happened, you know, uh, uh, not something that I ever expected. Um, you know, certainly we expected to be competitive, we were excited about that opportunity, but uh, to be able to give these guys an opportunity to go compete for this uh, after all that they've given to me uh, in our program and our coaching staff, uh, man, it's, it, it's, uh, I'm speechless, I truly am speechless, and I'm so happy for this. Well, Coach, that's it. We'll let you go celebrate with your team. Congratulations. Thank you for spending the time with us, and it's been fun. We look forward to the fun continuing. Thanks, sir. We are here with Hope International Athletics Director John Turek, who was on hand to witness his Royals capture the Lima Bracket Championship. Uh, John, two years ago, we didn't have a baseball team. We didn't have a field. We didn't have jerseys. We didn't have any of the good stuff or any of the fine folks that are on the team or on the staff. And uh, now, in just the second year of the program that you helped create and launch, they're going to Lewiston for the NAIA World Series. Uh, if I could get you to just briefly reflect on that journey and, uh, and what that has been like from your perspective to watch this happen. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? Uh, it's, it's actually quite incredible. Uh, the journey for us in baseball has actually been closer to four and a half years. We've been trying to find facilities and everything else, and we finally got something locked down, and then uh, you have to bring life to our president, Dr. John Murray, and move forward uh, with baseball and uh, hired a great staff in Eric Full and Larry Mahoney, and uh, they have just done a remarkable job. I, I think uh, we've exceeded all reasonable and well actually beyond reasonable expectations with this uh, with this team regular season GSAC championship uh, uh, tournament championship final for the GSAC and then here we are in our first uh, uh, at large berth in uh, in the regionals uh, at the Lima bracket and 
We beat, we won three straight games against top 10 teams in the nation. And uh, that is just amazing. And I believe we came from behind in all three. <laughs> Uh, we never say die. I, I'm really proud of these kids. I'm proud of these coaches. And, uh, you know, they have just absolutely represented our university well. I uh, couldn't be more more happy, more proud. And I know I keep repeating myself, but those two words really kind of keep jumping out at me. But uh, it's been an exciting afternoon, and that is for sure. So it would be fair to ask you then uh, whether or not you expected this, the answer would most likely be no there. Absolutely not. No, I, I, uh, I don't think anybody, any reasonable person would never see this. You know, maybe a 500 season, we were close to it last year, and uh, you know, you move up a couple notches and uh, we went all the way to first place in the conference. Uh, incredible. Uh, this postseason is special. I don't think, uh, again, like I answered before, you know, that the way we've come back to win and we never quit, and uh, boy, and then uh, what's really great is at the end of each game, boy, they give glory where it goes, you know, back to the Lord, and that's, uh, that's very special as well, really neat. Well, it was great to have you on hand here, John, and uh, we look forward to that trip to Lewiston. Uh, I don't know if the, the CFO will, but goodness, the rest of us will. And uh, yeah, That's a cross they're going to have to bear right it now. It probably will. That's the price for winning. Uh, thank you so much for all of the support that you've given us so far this season, John, and uh, I know that you and I are both going to enjoy watching these guys make the trip up to Idaho. You bet. Thank you very much, Seth. We're here with the Royals Senior Class of 2017, and boys, Two years after not having a field, not having any gear, not having unis or baseballs, you guys are going to the World Series in Lewiston, Idaho. After clinching the Lima Bracket Championship here over the Middle Georgia State Knights, if I could just get your thoughts and feelings on uh, what a ride it has been from missing the tournament last year even for the, the conference, to making the conference tournament, to making the opening bracket, to making the actual NAIA World Series. Could you just Real quick, describe what that ride has been like for you guys. Honestly, it's a dream come true. We deserved it. All the hard work we put in, the fall, now, everybody gave their best effort, and that's all we needed. Yeah. We set a goal. Uh, we set a goal at the beginning of the year that we're going to go to the College World Series and win a ring, and uh, we're on the right track, that's for sure. We have the right group of guys to do it, that's for sure. We all have each other's back and love each other. Thank you so much for the entertaining ride that it's been this far, fellas. Best of luck in Idaho. Yeah, you so to Idaho. We're here with Royals first baseman Jeff Murray. Jeff, you just helped your team punch their ticket to Lewiston in just the second season of HIU baseball. Uh, a good day for you today at the plate and in the field. And uh, really all season you've done whatever the team has asked you to do. Uh, that includes punching a ticket to the series today with an 11 to 12 win over the Middle Georgia State Knights. What are you thinking right now? What are you feeling? Um, how does it feel to help your teammates to this phenomenal achievement in just their second year? Honestly, the whole time the coaches kept saying the pressure's on them. So we really didn't feel any pressure coming in because no one really thought that we'd be here. So honestly, we were just playing our game, never giving up, never giving in. And when I came up with the ability to help the team win, I didn't feel any pressure. I felt like it was all on them. So I was just glad to help my team win. Uh, our athletic director, John Turek, I believe correctly pointed out that you guys came from behind in all three of the games here in the Lima bracket, which you clinched uh, with that 11-12 to 12 win. You guys are here at an, in an at-large berth. Uh, not even clinching um, with that tournament seed and I don't think anyone would have expected you guys to make it this far but you did um, and you guys are moving on once again uh, like you said the pressure was all on them according to your coaching staff uh, what is your mindset going forward as you got to head into unchar uncharted territory there honestly since they've been leaving us out they never had faith in us we just keep playing baseball we don't feel any pressure we just keep out doing our thing play baseball see ball hit ball and Never give up. All right, well, Coach Full said again on the way to the field, uh, a hungry dog hunts best, and it looks like you guys hunted just fine. So congratulations. You guys are moving on. It's been a fun season, and we look forward to it continuing. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you.
Jack. We're here with freshman pitcher Sean Dumpster, who has really handed it out to his teammates during their post-game interviews. And now it's finally his turn, as you come up with a phenomenal start here in the opening round bracket to help your team punch their ticket to the NAI World Series. Uh, what does it mean for you to get the call, to answer the call, and to really help propel your teammates with a solid five-inning start onward to Idaho? Uh, I mean, it was kind of a big uh, opportunity for me. I have so much faith in the guys behind me. Uh, when I heard that I was getting a start today from Coach, I uh, got super fired up. I knew all I got to do was let my defense work for me because uh, the boys uh, always uh, got my back. What, is it, uh, what does it do for your mentality that Coach has such trust in you to put you in such a high leverage situation already as a freshman uh, it in just your first year with the program? Yeah, it means a lot to me. Uh, I, Grown up in every uh, team I've been on so far, pitching in high pressure situations. I love pitching in pressure situations. Uh, I love that. I'm always I'm an intense guy on and off the field, so I love coming in in the big moment. Coach Full said uh, previously that you guys really seem to uh, feed off of the pressure, and as the big moments get bigger, uh, your game just gets better. Would you say that that's true for yourself as well? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, like I said, I love coming in in high pressure situations. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I just love the high pressure stuff, and I mean, from this whole team, the whole year, uh, we've just always come back in high pressure situations, coming from down five runs the day before, uh, coming down from two today. Uh, I mean, it's, I think it's just in the team. We love coming back, we love making it interesting, and uh, we love high intensity moments. Definitely made it interesting today was certainly a high intensity moment, and uh, you guys have done your job. So congratulations on making the move to Lewiston. Uh, we look forward to the postseason continuing, and uh, that one looked like it hurt, so we'll yeah, call it yeah. good. Yeah, thank you.